Hi, welcome to Bestman. My name is Niranjan. Today we are going to learn one more new tool inside the Photoshop. It's called Text Tools. You should have a good knowledge about this tool. You must learn these tools because this is very important tool while you are working with projects. You must have a good practice with this tool. Go ahead and do the practice with the text tools. So, and you have to become expert with the text tool. In future, when we are working with some projects, you should have good knowledge about the text tools. Because of that, you must learn very well about the text tool. Okay, let's go ahead and do the practice. I'm going to open new document from here. Just open A4 or whatever size you want. So I'll open US paper. So I'm going to open new document from here. Just select the paper size. I select this is okay, US paper size. And uh, resolution, give it 72 is okay. And background is white. Then hit okay. So we open one working space. So in here, we are going to play with the text tool. First, what you have to do, select the text tool just simply from your toolbar. When you select text tools, the property bars will be appearing according to this text tool. Say in here. So in here, you can select your text type and whatever you want to fit and everything. Okay. Then we'll select some sample text from here. So, and so we are going to type something in here. Just type uh, Photoshop. Now you can see what you can do with the text tool with this Photoshop. Okay. So then what you have to do, you can select this text tool, just double click so in the middle like that, then it'll be selecting. So after that, if you want you can change this size, font size in here, space. And we will increase a little bit 48. Okay. And uh, if you want you can change the font style also from here, just font font style. And if you want you can change the font color also from here. See, it's in red. We are going to change some black. Look like a cyan color. Like this color is good. You can change this color from this default option also. Wherever you want to change from here, you can change it. And hit OK. Select again. So then here we have some properties. Warp text properties. And it's normal style showing none. You can select this down arrow. You can see in here arc, arc lower, arc upper, arch. Like there are a lot of things are there, flags, waves, fish, like that, a lot of things. Okay, we will try to work with these effects. Then we can see what happened to our text tool. Okay, first we will select our first one, arc. So then see what happened. It look like a arch type, like an arc type. So then we can get it down. In here, you can so you can adjust the value also. How do you want? You can adjust the value also like that. You can adjust this value. Okay. Then hit OK. Now what we are going to do? We we'll duplicate this. Just right click. Just in the right click and duplicate it. So now I'm going to bring it down. My duplicate one. Press the move tool and just simply bring it down. And then this time again select the text tool. Otherwise you can double click inside in here then we'll be selecting text tool and again go for warp text in this style with the one options you can do a lot of changes in there now it is in the horizontal okay let's see what happens if you change it to the vertical oh see it's totally changes it's in the vertical side in here also you can change like that how it is change to the other side also like that so then this is the arc vertical before we played with the arc horizontal now arc vertical okay in here also if you want you can change the color you'll change color in here difference like a similar red like that okay and hit the okay button and select more tools and duplicate it again to so we'll try with another tool just simply duplicate and bring it down like that then again double click in here otherwise you can select the text tool from here also now selected in this time again select the your warp text from here 
try try to play another options we will select arc lower let's see what happens if you're playing with this arc lower to your text to whatever it you can just like that you can get the nice effect nice text effect with your text like that you have to do more practice with these things then only you will become professional designer and you will become more familiar with this tool if you want you can duplicate it again i will duplicate this top one i'm going to duplicate that it okay i'll bring it down like that and change this color also just select the text tool and double click to select and i'm going to change this color to like a magenta like a purple okay, magenta color. okay and hit okay button now if you want you can uh, increase this more your hit 60 then what i'm going to do this time is to try with the flag in here see what happens if you try with the flag this actually looks like a flag you can do a nice effect hit ok now select the more tools see now the shape of this text and lot of shapes you can get a lot of shapes with your text with this uh, warp text properties and what you have to do you have to do more practice with these things to become familiar with the text tool inside the photoshop why you have to do more practice in the future exercise we are going to work in with some projects like a, a visiting card like a dating card intentions cards whatever so when you are working with that things we have to give some uh, beautiful effects for the text and something more then you should have a basic knowledge about the text tools then only easy to work with the next projects all right this is the lesson today thank you very much and don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon also then we will meet with the next exercise